Welcome to Craft2 Workshop Builds. Today I'm going to be upgrading the front brakes on my Mark 6 GTI and I'll be installing some Brembo 18Z calipers, so stay tuned. I jacked up the car and removed the wheel, and now I'm going to disconnect the electrical socket, then remove the two bolts that secure the caliper. Now I'm going to disconnect the brake line, then I'll be able to remove the caliper. The caliper is off, so now I'm going to remove the rotor and the brake dust shield. The brake dust shield is held on by three screws. If you choose to keep this shield, you might need to cut and trim it in order for it to work with the new brake setup.
In order for the new rotors to sit properly, you will need to use hub centric rings. This is the rotor that I'll be using. I'm using brake cleaner to clean off these rotors. It's important that you clean the rotors before you install them. New rotors might have some sort of protective grease to prevent them from rusting while in storage. I'm going to use some anti-seize to prevent the rotor from getting stuck onto the hub. I definitely recommend getting a wheel stud conversion if you don't already have one. It will help with holding the rotor onto the hub. The hole on the new rotor does not line up with the OEM one, so you won't be able to reuse the torque screw to hold on the rotor. This is the brake caliper that I'll be installing and this is the hardware that I'll be using to bolt them on. Depending on the mounting hardware kit that you use, the head of the bolts might be different, but the sleeve should be the same. The sleeve will allow the caliper to bolt on with a snug fit without any sort of play. Now I'm going to install the caliper and then I'll install the steel braided brake lines. To prevent the rotors from rusting over time, you can choose to spray them if your rotors did not already come with a protective coating. That's the new rotor compared to the stock one and this is the 18Z caliper compared to the stock one. These are the brake lines that I'll be using. These are from the Mark IV R32.
these are the brake pads that I'll be using. And these are from a Volkswagen Touareg. Now I'm going to install the brake sensor, then the hardware to hold the brake pads in. I'm going to have the tools and parts that I've used for this upgrade in the description below. This is the brake fluid that I'll be using. And after you install the caliper on the other side, make sure you properly bleed all four calipers in the correct sequence. And that's going to be it for this project. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions regarding this upgrade. And also, I might be doing a video on how to rebuild these calipers, so stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.